you all once again. Uh, I was recently listening to this uh, very famous song, uh, What If I Stumble? And then, usually I visit it for the music, you know, it was feel good, uh, brings back a lot of memories. But recently, I was just listening to the words. And the first line, the first line goes, the greatest single cause of atheism in the world today is Christians. The greatest single cause of atheism in the world today is Christians. One minute it kind of uh, shook me. No, I was like, hmm, what are my listening? Today, as Christians, we speak a lot of things. We, you know, we learn a lot of things. We learn a lot of things. I know most of us can recite many of the Psalms. We can sing a lot of songs. We can tell Bible verses. We can give a message on anything. But how do we live our life? How do we live our life? You know, if I uh, go further into the song, if I go further into the song, it says, We acknowledge Jesus with our lips and walk out of the door and deny him with our lifestyle. You know, it was it, it, it was very. It was uh, you know I felt some I I felt uh, very bitter. You know, I was like yeah many a times we do that many a times we do that we tell a lot of things with our mouth but our lifestyle speaks different. There's a English saying: action speaks louder than words. Many a times we actually practice what is not. Christianity. We practice something what belongs to the world. But then we speak a lot about Christ. We always speak, no, be like this, be like that. But we don't practice it. We don't practice it. I mean, uh, as a, I've been like a football coach for many days. Now, when I say practice, I know it, it's not going to be an easy thing. It's not going to be an easy thing. Because I know for me to get up, you know, for a player to get his shot right, it's not like a one-time thing. I need to practice it daily. I need to make sure that he practices, he, he practices it daily. Ten times, twenty times, until he gets it right. Many times we don't even attempt things. We're just telling, you know, very theoretically, we're telling a lot of things. Love your neighbor, and, you know, Give, it will come back to you. Ten Commandments. We speak a lot of things, but we don't practice any of them. We don't practice any of them. We need to learn to practice. We need to learn to practice all those things. I know it's going to be difficult, but we need to start practicing. Because many are watching us, many are watching us. And only our lives tell our story. Only our lives tell our story, not what we speak, but how we live, how we live. I was recently reading through a talk material and it says, you know, a Christian is trying to convince his classmates, you know, uh, that why Christianity is good. And then the other point takes, he, he so see, look at the memes. Okay, look at your own people criticizing each other. Go into YouTube, you will see how much you are mocking each other. When you yourself can't accept your own religion, and you yourself make fun of each other, why should we follow? It's high time to start practicing Christianity. It's easy to speak, but to follow Christianity is very difficult. To follow Christ is difficult. We need to start practicing. We need to start practicing the follow Christ. Philippians 4 and 9. Philippians 4 and 9 it says, Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice. And the God of peace will be with you. 
and the God of peace will be with you. Whatever you have heard, whatever you have seen, whatever you will see, put it into practice. Put it into practice. And God will be with you. God will be with you. God will take care of you. But start practicing Christianity. Start practicing Christianity. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us this nice day. Help us to practice Christianity of God. Help us not live fake lives. Help us not live fake lives. But let us live a life worthy. Let others see our life, your life in our so far. Let others see Christ in us. Help us live such a life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.